damn it. Even with death staring them in the face, they won't talk. The smuggling of firearms certainly won't end with a rope around the necks of those devils outside. I don't care how you do it, but we've got to find out who's in charge of this operation and where the new hideout is. Washington is never going to get off my back until rifles and rot gut are off the reservation. You know, Martin, I'm up for promotion. I pass on this one. What? If I keep fooling around with those gun runners, my hide's not going to be worth a damn. What is it? Captain, the outlaw's guns. Put them on the table. There's always Tony Guy. What about him? The job's too big for Tony. No, no, he can do it. You know, Tony and I have had our run-ins. We don't see eye to eye. No, I want you, Martin. You've got to do it. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. What I'm driving at is you can clear your name. Think what it would mean to your family. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that I'm on the block, Captain, just to get you a promotion. This is the down payment. There's two more just like it when you accomplish the mission. I've just been bought. Send those guns to my dad so when I get home, I'll have something to remember you by.
Have you had a good ride, Miss Jenny? Great. All the way to the cave. Arius! Daniel! Save your breath. They aren't here. <laughs> they went into town. Something came in from Martin. A box, he said to us. Why doesn't he come home, Mama? The war's been over a long time. Don't worry. He'll get here soon. Jenny. Yes, Papa? Go in the house and get my tobacco. Mm-hmm. I told you, I never wanted that house. Livelier, Fox. Okay, Mailing. It's been too long since I've seen you. You don't love me, Daniel. There's been a lot of work on the ranch. Not enough hands to do it. And Martin? You're all killing yourselves with work. And he's gallivanting off somewhere. With someone. When do you think your brother's coming back? Are you asking me? Albert. The whiskey. Uh-huh. Listen, I can tell you that I... Daniel! Ah, it's my sister. I've got to go. Goodbye, Lillian. I'll see you soon. I promise you. Don't go falling for a Benson, Lillian. I mean... I've had my fill. Hi, Susie. Hi. Hey, where's Arius? He went to pick up the box that came from Martin. <laughs> Just couldn't wait, huh? You know Arius. Uh, yes, John Benson. John Benson. Benson? All right, give it to me, will you? Hey, Ralph, tell us something. Who's it from, Martin? Yes, from Martin to his father. Hear that, boys? Martin sent a parcel to his old pappy. <laughs> Wonder what's packed in it. Let's have a look. No, your business. Get out of here. Oh, open it up, baby. I ain't gonna. Bet it's full of fake casualties. Or something that's being smuggled. One bet there's probably a sheriff cut up in pieces in there. If Martin always was a smart outlaw. Why, you ain't talking like that about my brother. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, you better not. Get out of here, Ralph. Get your hands off that parcel. <laughs> You can't take that. He doesn't belong Leave to you. It. You 
Arius is in there somewhere behind that heap of dust. If you keep on like this, somebody's bound to get hurt. You break any of those parcels, I'll call the sheriff. I warn you, you better stop. Susie. The receipt. You have to sign the receipt. Wait. Wait. The receipt. You can't leave like this. You're going to get me into trouble. I got to have a receipt. Oh. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. Hi, Doctor. Hi, kids. Hey, Doc, we just had a fight down at the post office and smashed everything. the trail. Yeah. Something's happened at the ranch. Let's go.
In the name of God, Susan, don't let Arius come in the house. No, no Arius. Arius, go. Hold Arius, him. Stop. Arius, you stay outside. I know something's happened to Mom and Papa. Let me go. Arius. <laughs> stop. Let me go in. I want to go in. You hear me? Stop it. <laughs> Jenny. Where's Jenny? Jenny! Jenny, where are you? I'm gonna trade you in for the dog, then shoot the dog. alone, will you? There's a man down there. Don't you tell anybody about this. You hear? Uh-huh. I hear you, Daniel. <laughs> Don't look. Don't look, Washington. Don't look. It's a bad thing for you to see. Jenny to bed. She's worn out. Arius is with her in case. Who's that? Who is it? He's one of the bandits. He's got a bullet inside him. It'll have to come out. What can we do for him? He'll make it. He's got to. He knows the others. Get some hot water and some bandages. Daniel, he could have been the one who... 
hurt Jenny. We've got the to one... try and save him. No matter how we feel. Can't you see? He mustn't die. He's got to stay alive and tell us everything. Stay here. All your runaway horses. Hey, what happened? A bunch of men came here and, and killed everyone. Except Jenny. That's all I can tell you. Did you recognize any of them? No, I, I didn't see any of them. Well, who do you think could have done this to you? I have no idea, Sheriff. If I knew it, I'd tell you. Susie. Your trouble's mine, too. Try to think of me as a, a brother, not just a friend. Thank you. You can depend on me. Uh, uh, uh. It's Jenny. She's not feeling well. Excuse me. Oh, uh, I'll be thinking of you, Susie. I'll be back to see you. I'm the law, son. It's my duty to come in. For what? To visit a cemetery? It's not a pretty sight, Sheriff. Don't come in. I know this is a bad time for you, but we must do something. Do what you want, but leave me in peace. him a few minutes ago. We've just got to hide him in a safer place. Daniel, it's much better to call the sheriff. First he has to tell us where the other outlaws are, Susan. <laughs> to the cave. What do you think, Susan? Take Jenny in there.
gone in too deep. We better get a doctor for this. We've got to call Doc Parker. Yeah. I'm going in town after him. Daniel, if you don't tell the sheriff, you're going to get yourself into a lot of trouble. Mm. Keep him from losing any more blood. There he is. Yeah? Where's Jenny? Sleeping. Stay with Jenny. All right. Sure. To think I've got to spend my whole life listening to your craziness. Someday, someday, I'm going to leave you for good. I've been telling you for 40 years not to do the washing in the water trough. It's bad on the horses. The soap makes them digest too quick. You're as stingy as you ever were. If you give those horses a decent meal, they might... <laughs> Drop dead. Martin! Martin! You love birds oh. are just like a couple of youngsters. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Martin, how are you? <laughs> how are you, Christine? <laughs> I, I can't believe it. Who do you think you're looking at, anyway? His gold? <laughs> well, you can't blame me when we see him so seldom. <laughs> How's everything at home, Martin? All right? Fine. <laughs> Fine, thanks. How about you, Martin? Are you working at a ranch or are you... A little here, a little there. I sort of follow the wind. You're still loners, huh? Seen anybody these days? Like who, Martin? That's ridiculous. <laughs> who cares anything about two old codgers like him and me? <laughs> <laughs> Come on inside, and you woman, get a move on. We got company. What should I fix you to eat, son? Fix me a bed. A bed? And he said a bed. <laughs> well, you fix the bed, give it to me. <laughs> Baby. 
<laughs> and snoring like the devil. What are you fixing for him to eat? Beans and salt pork. <laughs> you know he likes that. <laughs> Better make a lot. We'll all be hungry as wolves by the time he gets up. Don't move. Do just what we tell you, and you won't get hurt. Where's Martin Benson? Martin Benson? He's inside, sleeping. showing up. <laughs> My old man. You're a professional, Barnaby. <laughs> I shoot better than that. But I need you alive. Get up. Gotta come out to the ranch. Jenny's sick. Daniel, I heard what happened. Yeah. Listen, you, you gotta hurry. She Jenny needs you. Yes, yeah, certainly. I'll be there right away. Oh. I ought to finish the job he started on you. There were four of you, and between you, you still didn't get him. He's worse than the devil. How far away is the old man's house? About 20 miles. Mm. Well, all right. Get two men. Let's pay him a visit. Yeah. Brunich, take it easy, huh? We got to do a good job. Relax, Starney. Relax. Tell Bert that after this delivery, he has to lay off for a while. As long as Martin is running loose, we can't take any chances. He won't be running around for long. I told you what you wanted to know. Now let me go. So you don't know who's bossing this outfit, huh? I told you, nobody knows but Starn and Brunich.
What's wrong, Daniel? We ain't going to the ranch, Doc. And I got to blindfold you. What? But why? Get out. Jenny and sick. It's somebody else. A man. Come on. What's this all about? Susie? Arius, stay with Jenny. Well, who is he? I want to know who he is. He's one of the men who killed my folks. He was wounded. We found him at the ranch. Then you've got to tell the sheriff. Doc, this is one thing I'll settle my own way. Make him well and just forget everything else. I'll have to operate. But even then, there isn't much hope. Then do the impossible, Doc. I'll need a lot of boiling water, Susie. All right. Well, Grandpa, where's Martin Benson? You better tell me. Barnaby! Where'd he go? Barnaby! Don't worry, Chrissy. These men mustn't frighten you. Listen, old man. Tell me where Martin is. And you might live to be a hundred. I don't know if I want to live that long. No, we don't know anything. I swear it. Martin Benson only stopped here for a few minutes. Come to think of it, where's Carl? Who's Carl? The man who was with me. Oh, him. Uh-huh. I buried him down there. Jack! All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Barnaby!
more here. I'll ride to the ranch and bring some. You stay here. I'll go get them. Listen, Susan, Daniel can't take justice into his own hands. There's the law for these things. You must get him to understand that, Susan. Talk to him. I've tried, but he won't listen to anybody. Then he's surely going to end up in very serious... Well, he survived, Daniel. I didn't think he'd make it. Where's Jenny? In there with Arius. Susie, I'd like to take them with me. This is no place for them. They can stay at my house for a while. Thanks, Doc. Daniel, revenge is something that... No sermons, Doc. Remember, I don't want the sheriff to know anything about this man. <coughs> Jenny! <coughs> She'll never be 
able to speak again. We got to do something for the Bensons. Organize another posse. Call in federal troops. I've been in touch with St. Louis. They say they got too many of their own problems to worry about ours. Oh, they can go to hell. We'll take care of it ourselves. It isn't so easy. We don't know who we're looking for. Then what do you propose? To stay here and wait for the same man to destroy our homes? Graham, are you worried about the town or about Susie Benson? <laughs> Stay for a while. Of course you can. How have you been? Fine. Come on. Let's get that wound cleaned up. So, you got yourself shot again. You should be more careful. You come on over here now, Malene. It's not very deep, it's just a scratch. I could use a shot of whiskey. It seems the only time I see you is when you're in trouble. I should throw you out. Don't you ever write? You know I don't write much. Aline, you're as beautiful as ever. You always were good at pretty talk. I mean it. Been away a long time. Good to be back. No, no. Um. I, I've got to talk to you. There's no time to talk. Um. I've got Told to tell you talk. something. But you must listen. Oh. Later. Let's take a look around. In his condition, he can't get too far. You take that side. You come with me. Wake up, Arius. Jenny, it's time to go. Daniel. Don't worry, Susan. I'll take him to docks and be right back. Please take care of Jenny. I'll treat her like my own. Martin. I wanted to tell you right away, but you didn't give me a chance. When did it happen? Yesterday. Nobody knows who did it. My sisters and brothers, where are they? I don't know. I suppose they're still at the ranch. Stay here. I'll take a look. Open 
up or we'll break down the door. You can't come in now. It's too late. The saloon's closed. I don't care about that. We're looking for a man who's wounded in his left arm. I told you not to come in. We're closed. Hey, get out of the way. See if he's in there. Martin. The three men downstairs looking for you. Where can I find a horse? Carlos, he stables horses. He'll get you one. Be careful. We haven't seen anyone who's been wounded. Hello, beautiful. So, you haven't seen anyone, huh? Just the same, I'll take a look upstairs, if it's all right with you. Here quick, or I'll call the sheriff. Went to Doc Parker's. I'm worried he hasn't gotten back yet. I'm scared, Martin. Lord, stop where you are. Tony Guy. Uh, Martin. So they. So they got you too. Martin. One and one together. Knew I was working with you. He really set me up. You 
folks are dead. I know. I got to your ranch ahead of Starney. I tried to defend them. I saw what to me. What did you see? It was Graham. <laughs> Graham. Martin, he's the boss. Graham. You can't handle one man and a bunch of bar girls made fools of you. Brunich, we've got to get to him before he gets to us. And I want him at the cabin by tomorrow. And I want him alive. Okay, okay. There's one way to get him. Let me get my boys to rough up Martin's brothers. We'll pull them out in the open. And my boys will be waiting. Do what you have to. The important thing is to get Martin. But I warn you, harm Susan and you're dead. Remember. Yeah, all right, okay. Go on. Brunich, I don't have to tell you what'll happen to you if you don't get Martin. All right, all right. Get your hands up, Martin. Uh, don't try it. <laughs> You're outnumbered. The boss wants you alive. <laughs> But he didn't say in what condition. Get him in the bunk board. them just as they were coming into town. I didn't know that you already had Martin. <laughs> and he got what he wanted. Think it'll satisfy Mr. Graham? Sure. He's got Martin Benson. What else could he ask for? Susie Benson. The boss. I'll go get Martin.
Tell them all, boss. Let him go. Leave him alone. Why did they take him away? I don't know, Arius. Daniel, what, what will they do to him? Well, well, Martin. You wanted to see me firsthand. <laughs> Here I am. Now you know who the boss is. Too bad. You won't be able to tell anyone. <laughs> you and your friend Tony Guy organize things pretty well. Too bad your idea wasn't clever enough. <laughs> How much did you sell yourself for, Martin? How much? Not much. They didn't think your boys were too important. Now you're going to end up like your friend Tony. Yourself a real special treatment. Get him out of here. Brunich? Yes, boss. Do a good job. Let's go, Starney. All right, get started. Daniel, you've got strong teeth. You think you can chew this knot loose, huh? I'll try. Stack that stuff. Come on, hurry up. We haven't got all day. <laughs> you get it yet? Yeah. Good boy, Daniel. Move, fast!
Come on, hurry up there. Be quick about it. Get that fire going. Burn everything. You two on the other side. Daniel, listen at the door. Warn us if you hear anything. Hey, Martin. What's in that box? Hey, listen, the fire. It's spreading into the house. Doc, you've always been a good shot. Dan. Watch out for the kids. Remember now, wait for my signal. Don't worry. Jenny. Uh. Jenny, darling. <clears throat> Jenny just spoke. here anymore. Don't worry. Martin will make it. I'm going into town. No! It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous, Susie. Don't go. You mustn't move. The wound will open. Susie, it's too far to town. You'll never make it before dark. I gotta look for them. I've got to, I'll go crazy. 
Martin and Daniel will be back. I'm sure. Don't leave. Please. If anything should happen to you. I want to stay with you, Tony. Believe me, but... Susan. I need you. Yes, but I'll be back. contact with the Indians again in a few days. You take care of it, hmm? Thanks, Mr. Graham. <laughs> now go and enjoy yourself with the others. I've got work to do. There's one Benson left, Susie Benson. for you. It's all for a good cause. Thanks. Many thanks. Two whiskeys. I'll buy. Stranger, have a drink and get out. Now, is that a nice way to treat a guest? And take your friends with you. What's up, Sheriff? Want a drink? You're under arrest. You trying to be funny or something? Come on, get a move on. There's someone waiting to see you.
happened to Daniel, you, Willie? I'm frightened, Daniel. But tell me, what's the matter? What happened to your eyes? No. Don't move, Sheriff. I'm warning you. Stay here. Where's Graham? I don't know. Uh, Where is he? And don't make me ask you again. Went to the ranch. After your sister. I'll take him, Martin. I'll come with you, Martin. You stay with Jenny and Arias. Keep them out of the way. Susan, I found you at last. Stay where you are, Graham. What's wrong? I know all about you. Where are my brothers and Jenny? Tell me, where are they? Dead. All dead. No! I don't <laughs> believe you! <laughs> No! I hate you! Leave me alone! Let you go! You avoided me as if I were a leper. 
But not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Tony Guy. Still alive. No! <laughs> Martin, come on out. Look, I got Susan here. Run, Martin. You better throw your gun down. If you don't want me to shoot her, throw down that gun. Come here and be quick about it. <laughs> I won, Martin. Stay right there, Walter. He's hard skin. He'll pull through. Don't worry, Susie. All right, Tony. Let's go. 
<laughs> All right, let's go, Washington. It's a shame that you 